Hi, my name is Judith Love Cohen, and I've co-authored a book called You Can Be a Woman Cardiologist, together with a cardiologist who works at the University of San Francisco. Now, our books are divided into three parts. The first part, we'll talk about this woman in San Francisco and the work she does. The second part, we'll talk about cardiology and what you have to study to be one and what it's all about. The third part, we'll talk about what kind of qualities it takes to be a cardiologist and some questions you can ask yourself so that you can decide if you'd like to do it. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the second part first. What do cardiologists study and what's it all about? Cardiologists first start studying biology. They learn about all living things, but then they zero in on the human body and all of its parts. The skeleton, the digestive system, the circulatory system, that means blood and the heart, respiratory system, that means lungs, and motor and nervous system, and the, means muscles, nerves, and brain. Second, the cardiologist has to zero in and study the healthy human heart. Do you know that your heart pumps through 15,000 miles of arteries and capillaries and veins? That's how far your blood has to go to the individual cells. The cells take in the oxygen and the food and they give up waste products such as the carbon dioxide and the waste products will be sent to the kidneys and the lungs via the veins. Third, the cardiologist will study diet and exercise and their effects because extra fat tissue will cause muscles and capillaries to work harder. Fat in the artery walls will cause them to stiffen. A good diet and regular exercise can prevent disease. Fourth, Cardiologists study modern health hazards like cigarette smoking and stress. And they're going to emphasize on understanding the connections and trying to help to prevent disease. Now, we talked about the heart. This is a picture of what your heart looks like and there are four different chambers. Here's a little model where you can see the four different chambers. Now, two of the chambers connect with the lungs. One pushes the blood into the lungs, the other takes it back in. Then the other two chambers send the blood all the way through the body and the other one receives it back. Our book, You Can Be a Woman Cardiologist, will tell you more about what cardiologists study and you can check us out on our website, www.cascadepass.com.